like the majority of the people in my family are like in the diesel industry, so I decided to take it for fun. I mean, I really like working with vendors. I specifically work with like motorcycle stuff, but um, I thought since they don't have a motorcycle class, I'd take diesel. And then I also just wanted to get some experience because I just like mechanical engineering, and so I just wanted to see what it's all about, basically. I think if you have the opportunity, you should take diesel, cause, like a diesel class, because it's really fun. And it's like hands-on, and yeah. stuff is fun, so. I'm with Colford Johnson, who teaches diesel mechanics here at Mountain View High School for Alpine School District. Colter, around us, I see several very large engines. What, what goes on here in the shop? So uh, this class designed, you learn a little bit about the truck. Um, so as we, as we go along in the school year, you learn a little bit more. So right now we're finishing up engines and then we're going into brakes. Um, but right now the kids, they disassemble the engines so they can understand how the components, how they work, where they go, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's a little bit of everything. The mechanics of a diesel. Yep. <laughs> so we go over engines, brakes, steering suspension, um, fifth wheels, transmissions, clutches, electrical, and a little bit of uh, AC systems. And there's diesel one, which covers a little bit of everything, and then there's diesel two that's just mainly electrical. So you not only have students from Mountain View High School, but students across Alpine School District could come here and take these classes if they chose to do so. Mm, that's correct. So no matter where you are in Alpine School District, if you can get yourself to class every day, you're welcome to come. And this is the diesel mechanic offering in Alpine School District. Yep, it is. <laughs> what are some future opportunities that lie Oh, there's now. a lot. Um, so the advantage of diesel is there's many different things you can do. So somebody works for Union Pacific working on trains. Uh, somebody works with generators. Somebody works for Cummins, which does all sorts of stuff. Tractors, semis, construction equipment. There's all sorts of different things that you can do with it. So there's training here that you offer. Then they could take that to UVU or to a MTech uh, or other specialty schools to get a more advanced learning. Yep, that's that's correct. So we work heavily and collaborate heavily with both UVU and MTech, and actually. Uh, most people don't know, but UVU is one of the top 10 schools in the country for diesel mechanics, and Amtech is also a very good school. Um, so I have students that go there, and they are the uh, top in their class. So you definitely will do better there in addition to, you know, credits and stuff. <laughs> wonderful. Well, thank you for your work here, and what a wonderful shop. Great experience for these students. We appreciate all you do yep. for Alpine School District. Thank you. I'm here with Hector Lozano. He's working on a diesel engine just to ask for a wrench. Um, Hector, what's going on? Right now we're putting on the exhaust, and they're putting on the turbo. I'm just getting this bolt over here under the exhaust. So what's your favorite part of being in diesel mechanic class? Working on the engines, because I find that really entertaining and also pretty fun in general. Do you see yourself pursuing a career in diesel mechanics? It's very versatile in the field it is, because you could either become like an engineer or somewhere that goes around places fixing stuff, which I know Caterpillar likes to do. So. That's something I find interesting too. Wonderful, well thank you for your time. We'll let you get back to your work, appreciate it. Thank you.